All right, this morning I am working on a Cummins ISX-15 and I'm going to be removing the fuel pump to inspect the tappets and camshaft rollers and things of that nature because it's a common failure which causes well, really uh, damage to the engine. But what I'm having with this truck is uh, an intermittent low fuel pressure code with high demand. So I'm going to take apart the fuel pump here and inspect it. What I've done so far is just removed the fuel lines off the left side over there, the banjo fitting right here off the front, and then there's another fuel line right down there, another banjo fitting. Uh, that you have to remove before you pop these four top bolts and remove it up. And it is spring loaded, so you gotta be careful as you're removing it. So because this thing's <clears throat> spring loaded, it can be a real bear to get those bolts off. Uh, this is this back left one over here, and I kinda buggered it up because it was really difficult to get off of there. And you're not supposed to use impact tools on it, um, but uh, I had to on that one to get that one out. So that might be a struggle for you, but you can see that it's pushed up because of those springs. And so I just had to get this fuel line and some other things out of the way. And now I'm gonna lift it out of there. It's kind of heavy and put it on the workbench so I could take it apart and examine it. After taking the pump head off, you see these are the tappet rollers. So underneath these, there's a camshaft which rolls these rollers and those activate those springs and actuators in the pump head. You could see that these here already, you could see these are pitted. And what you want to do to inspect these is you use this hook, this um, scribe, and I forget what it's called, but you could just pull them straight out with, with this. They're just basically resting in there. The springs are what, are what keep them inside the pump so here is this roller and you can see how bad that roller is it's not oil it's just pitted and damaged so these are going to have to be replaced and then what you want to do is look down at your camshaft that for the same thing. Difficult to see. Let me get a better angle. As you can see, if you can see, it looks like there is some damage to that <clears throat> roller in the front of the engine. Yeah, looks like that one too on the rear. You can see, so this is with the uh, uh, rollers removed. That's the camshaft. This is the base of the pump. And this is the head of the pump. So I have one of these springs removed already. And so you need to inspect the springs. Make sure you remember the orientation of which you take them off. You're looking for damage to the head of these and to your springs. And these just pull right off. And just make sure you have them labeled. You can see that the head of this one has some minor damage there. And you're supposed to remove these plungers as well, but they're a little bit more difficult. So let me get those out and we'll inspect those. 
But you can see right here, this one has damage to it already. It says minor, minor damage is okay, but deep scoring or dark discoloration should not be evident on these. But th I think they're replacing these with a different type. But I'll pull them out and we'll look at them. So these are the uh, steps I'm following from the manual service bulletin. And I was able to get one of the plungers out on the right side. I just used a magnet and uh, just pulled it, pulled it right out of there and it comes, came sliding right out. But this other one, I'm not able to get out of there uh, easily. So I'm just gonna leave it for now. I know we're gonna be replacing most of this stuff, but it says to check for bad discoloration or steep scoring which this one looks pretty good actually curious to see what this other one looks like but for now I'm stuck with just this one um, so that's it this is your fuel pump actuator here on the back it also says to remove this and do a test to blow some air through this but um, I mean I, I know that uh, we're gonna be replacing basically this whole pump assembly so that is about it though, your inspection on your fuel pump. If you see those signs of, which is common on the ISX, of the scoring and the pitting on the tappets and the camshaft rollers, this will cause further damage to your engine. And it says here, if damage to camshaft tappets or camshaft housing is observed, it is possible the fuel pump is not receiving adequate lubricating oil. When replacing the fuel pump, inspect the gear housing to make sure no blockages exist in the oil supply to the fuel pump. So definitely want to check that before you put everything back together and replace your fuel pump, but it's a way to check it.